form a letter an introduction in this module you will learn how to write a formal letter formal letter an introduction a formal letter is an effective means of written communication between individuals officials or organizations purpose of a formal letter a formal letter is written for various purposes to an editor of a newspaper magazine or journal a principal or other professional a doctor for an appointment a business person for inquiry and a concerned authority to lodge a complaint apologize place an order and seek or give information tone and language of a formal letter always write a formal letter in a tone that is polite inoffensive and more formal than the everyday language this is applicable even for letters of complaint a polite tone does not mean that the sender uses terms like begging the favor of and esteemed as they denote servility Use terms like kindly, please, and request, but do not go overboard in their use. Avoid using clichés. Be accurate, brief, and precise. Use short, uncomplicated sentence structures to avoid ambiguity and confusion. Use the block format that has no indentation and is left aligned leave a line between various elements and also between paragraphs do not mix up the traditional and the new block formats receiver's designation and address leave a line after the date and left align it as in a block pattern start with the receiver's name and official designation write his or her name first followed by his or her designation for example mr s k kumar the managing director if you do not know the name of the receiver write only the designation for example the principal the manager write the official address right below the designation without leaving a line do not use any punctuation mark in the address subject the subject states the precise objective for writing the letter the receiver forwards the letter to the concerned department on the basis of the subject write the subject after leaving a line below the receiver's address and above the salutation keep the subject short and crisp not more than 6 to 8 words the subject must be very specific in stating the purpose of writing for example subject request for leave subject complaint regarding inflated telephone bill subject order for sports equipment You can also substitute subject with reference salutation of a formal letter Depending on who the letter is being addressed to use the correct salutation For example dear sir or dear madam or dear ma'am sir or madam Do not use any punctuation mark in the salutation. Refrain from using words like respected and honorable. Body of a formal letter. This forms the core of the letter. Divide the body into 3 short crisp paragraphs. Leave a line between the 3 paragraphs and do not indent the paragraphs in this format the first paragraph states 
the purpose of writing the letter. State the purpose in a polite and direct language. You may need to make a reference to a previous letter, article or report in a newspaper or an advertisement. In the second paragraph, mention the specific details of the subject of the letter, the nature of the problem, details of the request and the like. In this, provide more background information on the subject of the letter. In the third paragraph, sum up the letter with a polite request for action, suggestion or appeal. This paragraph mentions what you want the receiver to do. Complimentary Close This is a short, polite closing that concludes the letter. Write it below the third paragraph after leaving two lines. Write it as yours truly. You can also reverse the two words and write sincerely yours or truly yours. Remember that there is no apostrophe in yours and the second word is not capitalized. Do not put a comma after the second word. Practice questions. Attempt the following in your notebook. Summary. In this module, you have learned how to write a formal letter.